Yeah, this is a story that gave me goosebumps, believe it or not. This home right here, the people who used to live here in Sherman Oaks, well, they found themselves with a whole lot of unwanted tenants, rats, and one morning even woke up to them by the bed. Imagine having over a hundred rats running around your attic. And not only your attic, in this house. They go into the living area, on top of the counters, bedrooms. You know, nobody wants to wake up with one next to their bed. That sounds like the stuff of a horror movie. Rats have always been around, and they reproduce fast, having litters of as many as 14 every three months. But Heather Goldfarb with Rodent Stop says the growing number of homeless encampments may be playing a role. It's unfortunate to blame it on homelessness, but with people living on the streets, you have the additional trash, you have the additional, unfortunately, defecation, you have food waste and things like that. And lots of nesting material, since she says they like paper, material, things like that for their nest. LA County Public Health says that conditions commonly found in encampments, such as poor sanitation, harborage or hiding places, and food sources can provide the conditions that rodents need to survive and proliferate. Goldfarb says when encampments are cleaned up, rats are still around and can travel up to five miles to find new digs. Back to this house, they did everything they had to, killing the rats, plugging up holes, blasting smoke to find cracks where the critters could make entry and more. The old owners fled. We couldn't reach them. But this rat thing, it became an issue for the new owner, who happens to be a contractor and wants to fix it up. In order for me to do demolition or any new construction or renovation, I need to get rid of the uh, rat first. The experts say to try to prevent a rat infestation, cut back your trees and shrubs. You can see a lot of that right here. Rats like to hide in that. Cut off access to food, water, and shelter. And you can try a do-it-yourself measure to control the rats, or you can call in a professional if these folks did. But the bottom line, I guess it's a reminder, we live with a lot of other critters, don't we? Alex, Christine, back to you.